All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to All the Mods 9. Guys, today we set up our little bee enclosure. It's fantastic. It's going to help us get ready for the rest of the bees that we're going to need. Welcome back, everybody, to All the Mods 9. I am gathering bees because we... Want to get some automated iron. Perfect. He went in. Yes, I've been waiting around this beehive. There's one bee in here. Perfect. I would just like to have you back in here, please. I do have silk touch on here. Yes, perfect. All right. Excuse you. Jeez. He's just kind of shoving his way in. Okay. So now, yep, we do have the bees and knees in there. Very good. It's kind of funny. If you think about a campfire um you technically are still touching fire because every time you place it back out it's on fire anywho i'm gonna keep looking around we're looking for bees hopefully we can get some so we can get some iron bees going um the reason why we need vanilla bees is because we need to be able to make the treats and things like obviously this one needs honey bottle and so we're gonna start automating the normal bees first and then we'll start working on grabbing the other bees but we've actually got quite a few bees around us and I'm looking for any kind of forest where there might be bees like this is actually like a really good spot I think we're close to G Slugger's base he's over here um but yeah we're just uh we're just vibing looking for bees that's what we're looking for I thought that was a hole <laughs> all right over in my mini map over here to the right as you can see it looks like we got some bees over here yep um, I don't know why I use the hammer for that, but I'm going to go do the same trick I did for the other one. I'm going to go ahead and just put a block in front. They can still access it from, uh, I think, all of the other sides, even if I were to do this. Yeah, so they can access it from all of those. And once they hop back in after a little bit, we can go ahead and collect them, which is very cool. So I'll be here for a bit, and hopefully sooner than later they go in. Maybe if, Maybe if I do this. Maybe he'll pollinate there and just go right in. You're not a bee. Oh, pumpkins. All right, he did. He's, he's not going in. Okay. All right, two of the three bees are now in here. And this guy is checking out the lilac. He's been uh, having some, some fun time with it, just flying around. There we go. All right, cool. So we got three bees in here. Nice. Very good. All right, on to the next one. Hopefully I can find it soon. We're in the tree area, so it's good. All right, I think we've just scored our last beehive. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same exact trick for these guys. Not trick, but uh, yeah, where are you guys at? Um, one's over here. I'm looking at my mini map. There he is. And where's the, uh, oh wait, is he here? Nope, that's not the right bee. The other one's way over here. Where's the hive? Okay, where... Where are you guys going? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Hopefully I can... F oh, there it is. Found it. Cool, cool. All right. So we're just going to place a block here, let them wander around. When they come back, we'll be good. Maybe we'll encourage them a little bit with some lilacs right by their beehive. Maybe that'll be fun for them or not. That's okay, too. All right. Oh, there we go. Cool. So there's only two bees around this area. Uh, oh, yeah, we got to make sure that I get the campfire under them. I don't know if they would have been mad because they would have been inside the hive. I wasn't going to risk it for the biscuit, you know. Um, I actually would like to find one more beehive. So I'm going to go looking about and we should find one here pretty soon. And we can start getting a, a farm set up for these guys. A humane farm that's very humane, I promise. They will have all of the area to work and have fun and be cool. Yes. And there we go. Our last beehive. Because we're beehiving. Behaving, you know. 
Oh, sorry. That was terrible. That's a blue one. Okay, so their hive's got to be somewhere around here. Yep, right there. Ready spaghetti. And we'll throw this here. We'll mine that just to be safe. We'll throw up a lilac, maybe like right here. And toss this guy here. It's becoming nighttime, so they should theoretically come on back here pretty soon. Um, yeah, I'll just be waiting. All right, I think they're coming back. Yep, there's one, uh, two, and three. There he is. Perfect. All right. So we got we got quite a few bees here. Um, I think it, I think two of them have two, and then two of them have three. So we have a total of ten bees. Oh wow, it's dark. <laughs> Anywho, let's get this farty parted. Okay, so this is what we have here. I've got kind of this uh, this circle, um, and I think we're gonna go ahead and put the front door over here and kind of expand this out a little bit, maybe like this. Uh, and so yeah, you'll enter in here. There'll be like a double door system until we get some ethereal glass. I just don't have the things for that right now. Um, and then let's see, I think here we'll have some support pillars and then everything else can be glass. Um, yeah. Maybe something like this. Yeah, I'm liking that. And then I want to do like a dome on top. Um, I think that'd be really cool. This is just a little 13 by 13 room. Uh, I do desperately need some more glass here, but uh, yeah, I'll get started on getting this dome here built. And then once I have the dome uh, closed off uh, with all of the, the glass and things that we need, we'll go ahead and get started in here. All right, we're in the bee pit. <laughs> Not the armpit, the bee pit, the greenhouse. Look at that. It looks terrible. It's definitely not the best thing I've ever built, but this is only going to be for the vanilla bees. When we get into the other bees and things like that, uh, it will be a little different. Oh, wait a second. I need a campfire below this. Oh, this is not going to end well. Okay, so that didn't work. Um, where are the campfires? We're gonna need those underneath all of the beehives. There they are. Okay, so let's double click that, good. Um, this is how it's gonna be. Perfect. So this goes here. This goes here. And this goes here. And we will continue to farm them. Oh, hello. Oh, you need flowers in here. Otherwise, you're gonna have a rough time, huh? Um, got a poppy, a single poppy. We need to up this. It's an apple sapling. That would not be very productive. Where did my tall... There we go. Rose bushes. Okay. So... Oh. We're going to put these here. And we can get to breeding the bees. Yes. There we go. So we got some more bees here. We got some of these pop are these rose bushes. I actually think I'm going to put the rose bushes. Okay, yeah, they're going to go. They're going to go in there. Maybe the rose bushes. Oh, I built this. Built this a block too forward. That's why it's felt so in my face. Good. Okay. All right, so eventually we're gonna swap all of these out and we can shear them, but we should be able to shear these ones. Oh, there they are. Good, look at that, we got three there. Very cool, I'm gonna put these on the corners 
slash home. We'll put the small flowers in the front. Oh, oops. This with this. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we'll put the tall ones there and then... Oh, whoops. That is not what I meant to do. We are running out of space. Okay. Okay, so I've added in a little bit more um, flowers, and we're definitely helping it out. I'm going to put these caps, um, which are just spruce trap doors, on these, and it should prevent a lot of the smoke from going all the way up. Um, yeah, I think it's doing, it's doing something, you know? It's doing something. Okay. I know they're not all exactly facing the same way, but we do have some honey being made. We also need a couple more bees. We need one more for the amount of stuff that we have. Yeah, one isn't full. So, and then we'll breed on top of that and we'll be able to put more beehives in here. I would like to have that entire thing filled with just bees. Um, make another beehive. There we go. Okay. So, yep, as these start going, I'll just keep harvesting and we'll be we'll be good to go. So many bees. <laughs> I've been breeding these guys up a bit. Just been uh, used a bunch of bone meal on the rose bush here so I can breed them. And my oh my, do we have quite a few bees here now. Um, oh, we've got two over here. Yeah, so I'm just kind of waiting for the... Oh, they're ready to actually breed again. So if we do some of this, I'll give them a little bit of time. There you go. Oops. I am worried I'll smack a, a, a child. There we go. But yeah, now we got three more bees. So we just filled up another beehive. Um, but yeah, so now that we got these, we can start making more of the hives so that we can eventually get into the advanced ones and the advanced oak beehive you do need a beehive for it so we need two combs uh, i want to go ahead and make three and we'll see about um converting some of the hives over which would be interesting i think i might need to switch to the glass bottles honestly and start harvesting so i can make some of the um whatchamacallum the cages yeah some of these bee cages i need to start making these so i can grab the bees when they're out um yeah i, I guess i just need to do quite a bit of afk over there bottles and with the shears so i'm gonna be here for a bit maybe i don't know an hour or something like that and just kind of tend to the bees and have some fun but yeah we got we got lots of them in here doing good this one's all full. This one's getting there. Cool. Oh, look at this dude. He wants to get in here so bad, but he can't because he's not a normal bee. Sorry, pal. Nah. <laughs> but yeah, I've just been uh, collecting some honey here. Uh, where did where did that one go? Oh, I already got it. But yeah, I've uh, been, been going pretty good. We're breeding up some more bees. Um, yeah, it's been fun. Okay, so we've got quite a few um, cages that we need to create here. I don't want to use all of these, but uh, let's see. So each of them has three now. There's 12 or three times three, nine. So there's 27. Um, 
Actually, 28 bees, because there's one that's floating around all by himself. He's stuck. He can't go anywhere. These are all full. Um, so yeah, he, he needs to come with me. Yes. And then we're going to sleep. And I need to empty out my inventory, because we're going to try to grab all of the bees. And we're going to start converting them over to um the advanced oak beehives okay there we go okay so we're we still got quite a few bees that aren't in the bee sanctuary um that's okay so i think what we'll go ahead and do then is Um, I'm going to build, because this is, um, we're going to have two, like, big chests in here, uh, and that's where the bees will go, and I think the bees are going to stay in here because it's raining, but now that we've got them all filled up, we can kind of start working, so let's go ahead and advanced oak beehive, so we do need to make quite a few beehives um okay so oh shoot that's more than we needed i'm gonna convert all of these over um i guess we need to get some more combs and i don't think there's any sleeping during this no we gotta i just gotta wait for the rain to be done and then we're gonna be working on the advanced oak beehive so we need shears we got plenty of iron um we need nine shears okay and i'm gonna take just this chest here and we're gonna start kind of this chest and i'm gonna put all of the items that we have here good so we have that we need the combs and we need wood so there we go we need a total of 18 combs um, and then we need 18 campfires. I've got some sticks somewhere. Okay. So that should allow us to make the campfires. Yeah, way more than we needed. Perfect. Um, wait, did we only need nine campfires? Yeah, we only needed nine campfires. That's fine. We have more. This is always good. All right, so the only thing we need for the advanced oak beehives is just the the combs. So there's one more thing I want to do is I want to get the expansion boxes. Um... The oak expansion box. So it's only going to require one, and we need nine more combs on top of that. Which is totally okay. So yeah, I gotta just wait out this, uh, this storm. And, uh, once that's done, we'll be able to pick up the rest of the bees and throw them in here, and we'll be good. All right, so we got the perfect amount of honeycombs. Um, so let's go ahead and get building these advanced guys. So there we go. This is not the funnest way to do this. <laughs> All right, there we go. We've got those and Okay, we've got a couple, need a few more expansion uh, boxes here. Uh, we got plenty of wood, no need to worry. All right, so nine and nine, cool. So now I get to do the fun process of capturing all of the bees. Uh, but before that, I did end up letting them back out so that I could, you know, generate some honey quicker. Um, so yeah, I ended up wasting a few of 
the, the things, the, a few of the, the bee cages. So I'll go ahead and I'll probably just like two or three more of these glass bottles. And then um, I'll set up like a crafting table in here. And then I'll craft up the bee cages. And then once I have all of the bees out of the hives, I'll go ahead and come back. Okay, so all of the bees have been taken out. So now we can go ahead here and break every single one of these. Um, I would... I was thinking about maybe keeping this design and I just realized that it's probably not going to be feasible. Um, I think it'd be pretty cool to attach each of the other, you know, bee enclosures. Um, I don't know if we're going to go this way, but we're probably going to go this way and this way. So figure out a way to, to kind of, to do that. Um, so yeah, let's throw these into here. Um, and then... That was really, really simple. Um, yeah, cool. So now we're gonna grab these guys. Uh, that's the expansion box. We need the oak beehive. One, two, three, two, three, one, two, three. And then a boom, boom, boom. And the expansion box allows for a couple of things. One, it allows for a total of five bees to be here. Um, so we get an additional one, two, three, four, five, six per side. So an additional 18 bees can be in here, um, which means it's gonna produce way, way faster. Um, and then right back here, I think I'm gonna go ahead and mine downward and we're gonna put some uh, pipes back there. Um, one set of pipes is to take items out of the system can we make can we make droppers with these no we need normal cobble that is okay all right so dropper let's get some pipes going Oh, yeah, we need to turn that iron here. Okay, so... Oof, I'd like to make a little bit more of that. Okay, a few more droppers there. We can make some more item pipes, a stack. That should suffice. Um, because we're just going to have two chests. Uh, one is going to be the export chest. Oh, and I want to make these into iron chests before we go. So let's see here. Uh, I believe you have to combine it with a redstone torch, which sounds kind of funny. Um, oh, no, I think you have to make the chest with a redstone torch, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it's for sophisticated. And then there you go. There's the two iron chests that we're going to have. Good. And these will be on either side. One will be full of bottles and one will be full of um, the honey bottles and honeycombs. Actually, we need three. I just thought about it. So what? How did that happen? Anywho, so one of these is going to be full of honey. One of these is going to be full of um, honeycombs. And then this will be where we put all of the glass bottles and they get pumped into the system. So I figure we're going to go ahead and do this now um, while we can. So we're going to just going to... Oh, I forgot there's a cave there. Just going to do one of these. And I do believe I need to make a pipe wrench. I don't think I've made one of those. Yeah, I need to make one. All right, and with these, with the pipe wrench, we just click it. And now these are set to extract, except this one's gonna be tough. I gotta break this guy. One, two, two. All right, and then we need to go down one more. 
Ooh, there's water. Little cave. And then we'll bring all of these bad boys in. Cool. And so we'll break this one here. So now those are all set. Any items that go into here will now get pumped through. Cool. So now these are set up to automatically harvest. Um, and then the automatic pipe or bottle dispensers are going to go here. Um, yeah, this, that's a bat. This is already set up. So we'll connect it here. Uh, these are going to be pushing in. However, we are going to have to disconnect this guy and do this. Um, I guess we got to go back to home and run over there. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, now we just got to get... Um, actually, what we'll do is... I can just run it around, around the outside. I'm going to take those back because they are valuable at this time. Eventually, they won't be super valuable. And I'm just going to run this um, around here. Oh, that's right. We want these over here. So, yeah, we need that not to be like that. And then this will come down and we don't want that there. Okay, so disconnect and then disconnect. That bat scared me. So as of right now, we don't have a way of separating these two yet. Um, the two items will be getting. So we're just going to have to make do. Oh, it's one short. Oh, man. That's a bummer. Um got enough droppers okay we can make some more pipe here real quick that was a bummer yeah we just need the redstone okay so that should mean that this is now set up and ready to go um breeding the bees is extremely easy So let's go ahead and just kind of clean it up now. And I really don't want the baby bees going back in there. So we're going to utilize the trap doors that we took off. Oh, they're in my inventory. And we're going to cover these. I mean, you will be able to see them from the outside, but if we were to say just change this out to a different... You dang bat. Um, if we were just to change these out to a different block instead of glass, like, you won't see it. Okay. And what I mean earlier by we didn't have a way to filter it out, we don't have, like, an easy way to filter this out yet. 
Um, I guess we could just go ahead and put a whole bunch of honeycombs in here like this and um, maybe wait. Slot memory settings. Hmm, maybe there is a way to sort those. That would be pretty cool. Um, but now the other thing is it's very dark in here. All right, and to fix this, we'll just go ahead and throw these here. That's going to light it up pretty good amount. Very nice. Um, yeah, and now we can put some flowers back. Um, this needs to be like that. Actually, no, that needs to be dirt. Cool. Okay, so the bees are now ready to go back in here. So let's go ahead and put them back in here. So boom, 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 boing, 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 boing. Boing, boing. We have two bees that are very similar. Perfect. But now that is rocking and rolling. Oh my gosh, there's so many bees in here. Wow, look at all of them. Yeah, let's grab. Um, I guess we'll take some bone meal. Um, actually, I want to get some peonies in there. So, let's see. Maybe something... Maybe a little some, something like this. Like that. That yeah, looks good. We can breed up some bees. Whoops. There we go. Have fun, everyone. Good. So, uh... Yeah, we have honeybees in a lot of them. 